Next up is one of Jimi Hendrix's most loved compositions and most incredible guitar performances, Little Wing. On this song, Jimi demonstrated his utter mastery and complete genius in the style of R&B rhythm guitar, where he took elements of the style that came from before in the playing of guys such as Curtis Mayfield and Bobby Womack and Don Covey, and turned it into his own incredible thing. Here's the intro. The intro begins with a very unusual figure, something that's sometimes referred to as a double octave. Jimmy's got his thumb fretting the 12th fret of the low E string, and then he's got another E note two octaves higher, that's why it's called a double octave, on the high E string, and he goes. So he's hitting all the strings, barring across the 12th fret on the B and high E, and then the thumb gets these, but then between the bottom of the thumb and the other fingers, he's muting the in-between strings. Slides down, plays an open low E. And then plays a single note lick, based roughly on the E minor pentatonic scale, and then moves to a G major chord. And then he uses his pinky to add notes. in order to play a supplementary melody against the chord. Moves up to A. So you can see that these hammer-ons are a big part of the sound, where you would bar across two strings with your index finger and then hammer. Then he moves up to E minor 7th. And again, plays a little chord melody by shifting between two strings, often barred with the index finger, and then a single note played with the ring finger or the pinky. Moves to B minor. So you can see the pinky playing that melody. That's B flat. A little fast hammer pull to A minor. So the pinky's got to go up to the ninth right there. Now here's a G, sus2, or G9. And he's going to slide that whole figure up a whole step to A, back to G, and then down to F. And one of the nice things is jumping and balancing back and forth between the low root notes and the high part of the chord. Then he plays an unusual C6 chord where the middle finger gets the D and the G string at the second fret. Moves up to D here at the fifth fret. Then there's the drum fill and another one of these into the first verse. Okay, here it is played slowly. <laughs> 